We ain't no use to Jack in jail. Or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. Kid, we chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Plenty found it. Big old run-down plantation house. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. It's where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check, it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! It's them again! Boys! Get ready! Still some here. I can see that! You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. You pay for every life. 
stuff you took. Die. You fools should have left when you had the chance. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Sorry, boys. This is ours now. Come out where I can shoot you. Come and find me there. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? You coming? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Are you gonna help me carry these in? <clears throat> Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. the bodies you gonna meet up with the caravan guiding them in all right see you soon
We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Whoa! Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Hello, mister. How do you do? I've lost my friend. Somebody Watch it now. Me, please. Yeah. Like to Howdy, fellas. How's it been treating you? How do you do? Hey there. All right, right. Good to hear it's working for someone. Has anyone seen well, Gavin? Hey, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend... Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's cool, girl. That's too bad.
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamont. Hey, can I get a drink America's here? America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we're over here. washed away. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Here they found and broke that Mustang up at Dennis. Taking them a month. Huh? Good morning to you. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. the silent treatment now? No. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, what it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? 
No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit. Let's go. Yeah, that fellow yeah. looks angry. Stop. Damn it. Got off. Damn, free trash. You up for that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Hey, mister, you seen a boy running through here? I haven't, no. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. You know, I kind of miss. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! That's enough! Come here! Hey! Moron! Careful now. Apologies. Good morning, mister. I'm telling you, a cucumber. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right through us. Ran around the corner there. Things are becoming so hey, y'all. Things aren't going well between the lines. <laughs> this is you can fun, hear them mister. fighting from I like miles you. away. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. 
Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about them all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. <laughs> 